What's up guys and welcome to another squad building challenge video. Now as you might have seen EA keeps releasing squad building challenges. So the other day they released the Liga BBVA squad building challenge. Today they released the Deli Ali player of the month squad building challenge. And with all those challenges plus the one to watch cards that were out the past week, other players have decreased in value quite a bit. So what I decided to do is to complete one of the squad building challenges that was still outstanding for me from the past, which in this case was the Pro League one, so the Belgian First Division. Now, as you can see, I already completed one team, which I did, I guess, last fall, um, but the other 15 teams I had still open. I had some players, obviously, from the Bronze Pack method, from the free silver reward packs, um, obviously some gold players as well, but the majority I did not have yet. So I decided to complete this team now while prices are low, um, and basically cash in on all those packs. The players I had to buy in total, I spent 71,000 coins on them, um, but the total rewards that I will get are worth 220,000 coin coins, guys. It's a tremendous value that you get from completing the Pro League at the moment. Um, there's one team that is or has been quite expensive, which is the Zulte team. It's basically the equivalent of the Toulouse team from the League 1. Um, but even that team, I managed to get it uh, basically completed for 15,000 coins. Um, and it's only one of three teams that I had to spend more than the pack is worth that I'll be getting eventually. Well, that's it. Let's jump into the packs and I will tell you a little bit about the teams while I complete the challenges. Let's start with Brugge. The first team, it's I think the one that has the highest requirement besides Anderlecht when that's the one I completed before. Club Brugge, you need a 73 rated squad, which we have uh, th done. We have 75 rated teams, so that's no issue. And you need 795 chemistry. Similar to the um, Scottish squad building challenge we did the other day, basically the only requirements you need are rating and chemistry. There's no real like nation, nation requirement or some weird requirements that you've seen in the, in the MLS uh, squad building challenge, for instance. None of that in the Pro League. So that said, let's cash in on the Brugge team and we get a premium gold players pack. Um, the next team is Muskroon. Muskroon is, again, a team that I got for less coins than the pack is worth. So I spend around 4,500 coins and we get a Jumbo Silver pack. So definitely more value, at least nominal value, than what we invested in that team. Again, just rating and chemistry requirement and that's all you need. Now what I came to realize is that the... Um, the app is still the the fifa app is still outdated on the phone in terms of the team rating calculation so i completed all those teams or most of them on my phone before i went on the console and when i went on the console half of them didn't even match the uh, like make the requirements yet because the rating calculation is different on the phone compared to the console or the pc i think as well so don't be frustrated if you open your console and you see you you don't match all the requirements yet it's because there's a different rating um basically calculation underlying the game compared to the app. Now the next team is Hend. Again, just rating and chemistry requirement. We need 72 rated team, which we manage perfectly. Um, so let's submit that and get a gold players pack. Now Hend um, is basically the rewards are worth 12,500 coins and we only spent 3,500 coins on the remaining players. So you can see almost four times as much uh, coins that we get in a reward form than what we had to invest in that team. Next up is Open, where we get a silver players pack, um, and we only had to pay in this case 2,000 coins to complete the team. I had most of the bronze players from the bronze pack method, so I only had to buy the silver ones to get the rating to a 64. Um, so again, quite, quite easy score building challenge. And obviously the overall reward being the 100k pack is, is quite attractive. The player not so much, but again, it has been, been a common theme in those squad building challenges we did recently. Um, the Dutch one, the Russian one, the Scottish one. The player hasn't been that attractive, but it's basically the packs that make it a, an attractive proposition. Next up is Henk. Um, 69 rated team, 95 chemistry. Again, not really an issue if you buy some of the um, silver players and the rare silver players in particular. Again, I spent three and a half thousand coins on that one, but we get a premium gold pack plus 1,000 coins. So again, definitely worth the investment. Next up is Cordrag, and Cordrag is one of the teams where I spent more than the pack is worth. So I spent more than 9,000 coins on that team because you need a lot of silver players. 
The team doesn't have a lot of bronze players and you need a 68 rated squad, so obviously you need a lot of silver players to get their rating up there. Um, so I had to spend a little bit more and you only get a gold pack as a reward. However, when I completed all the other teams, I saw that there was a tremendous difference in terms of um, investment and, and reward. So I decided it's not too bad to over invest basically in a couple of teams as long as the as long as the overall reward is 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 attractive for me. Next up is Mechelen. Mechelen, another team that was pretty cheap for me. I had all the bronze players from the bronze pack method. I only had to buy the silver players. Um, and again, 66 rated team is not that difficult to achieve if you slot in a bunch of silvers. Let's hand that in as well and get one go pack. So one, fi one uh, 5k pack for a 3000 coin investment here. Next up is Ostende. Ostende, another team that um, it looks fairly expensive if you look at the, uh, how many silver players we have. But essentially, it wasn't that expensive. Um, I was surprised how much the player, players decreased in price over the last couple of days and weeks. Um, when I looked at this over the Christmas holidays, it was much more expensive. But if you have this challenge still open, I would advise you to do it now while the prices are low. Um, we get, again, we need a 70 rated squad, which we manage perfectly, and a 95 chemistry team, which we also have. Let's hand that in and get the premium gold pack, I think it is, exactly, and another 1,000 coins. Next up is Vestalo. Vestalo, another cheap team. I almost spent 3,000 coins on them for a 7.5k pack. It looks fairly expensive as there's only three bronze players in there, but the rest is silver. But some of the silvers, they go for discount price as well, like 200, 300 coins for some of them. Um, I don't think anyone went above 1,000 coins. So again, looks somewhat expensive on paper or just by, by looking at the cards, um, but in essence, it wasn't that expensive. Now, Underlecht is the team I did before, so I'm not completing that right now. It's already done um, in the past, so we'll only complete the remaining 15 teams of the league. Next up is San Troiden, another team that looks fairly silver, um, but it's, again, one of the other teams that, that wasn't that expensive, especially the non-rares. Um, they, they are not that expensive, and the bronzes I already had from the bronze pack method. Let's hand that in as well, and we get another 5k pack. I think we have six more, no, five more remaining, Charleroi being the next one. Um, Charleroi was um, somewhat expensive for the 5k pack, but again, I managed to get it for around 4,000 coins, or at least the players that I had still missing, obviously the bronze players I had from the bronze pack method, and the silvers I had to acquire. 68 rated team, so obviously you need some silvers and some high rated silvers. But again, the prices have come down a little bit, so it wasn't that expensive after all. Lockerin, the next team. Lockerin, actually one of the three teams where I had to spend more than the pack is worth. I spent, I think, almost 8,000 coins for a jumbo silver pack. Um, as you can see, you need a couple of silvers for a 68 rated team. Um, but again, as I said, the overall reward is so much more than the investment I had to do on the pack. So I was fine with spending a little bit more on some of the teams in order to complete the overall challenge and get the 100,000 co 100, coins pack. Now Liege, one of the more high rated team, I guess, next to Anderlecht and Brugge, it's the third best team in the league, as le at least in terms of the uh, rating requirement for the squad building challenge. We need a 71 rated team, so obviously you cannot use a lot of bronze players, the team doesn't have many anyway, so you need some golds and a lot of silvers as well. But again, for a 7.5k pack, I spent in this case 6,000 coins for the players I had still missing, so again, a positive um, investment for me. Next up, as I think we have two more teams outstanding, we have Beveren. Beveren um, was super cheap, as you can see, so dominated by bronze team, by bronze players, only a couple of silvers, so that was pretty easy. And obviously, as the 66 rating requirement, you don't need many silvers anyway. And the reward is a 5k pack. Now, the final team is Zulte Vararem, and Zulte is basically the equivalent to Toulouse in the league. Uh, so the one team, and I have no idea why that is the case, that is a little bit more expensive than the rest. Um, for this team, I spent more than 15,000 coins, whereas the reward is only worth uh, a little bit more than 8,000 coins. So I spent almost twice the amount of coins that the pack on the coins are worth but i guess to, to complete the overall goal to get to the end goal of getting that special card get the the big pack 
definitely worth it in this case. Um, it was a little bit hard with the chemistry. I tried to use players in different positions. So I have the goalkeeper in left mid position. Um, so you can see I needed to get um, loyalty on, on some of the players to make it work to get to the 95 chemistry. Overall, we get it done. We get the 69 rated squad with a 95 chemistry. So let's hand that team in. And basically we're done with the Belgian Pro League squad building challenge. So we get those individual rewards. Pro League completed. Thank you very much, EA. And we get the overall rewards. We get the Perbe special card. As you can see, he's a striker with a 65 pace rating. Um, not that attractive. He's French though, so you can pair him up with some of the other French players up front. That isn't too bad. Um, and obviously the big reward is the Jumbo Rare Players Pack plus another 15,000 coins. Definitely, as I said before, while we store that guy into the club, the overall rewards, awards, except that, that underlaced pack that I opened uh, before, worth more than two, uh, around 220,000 coins. And with an investment that I had to do with of around 70,000 coins, definitely worth it. That being done, let's open all the packs. We have 16 packs in total, 15 from the individual challenges, and one, obviously, the 100k pack from the overall uh, Pro League challenge. Let's start with the Jumbo Silver Pack. Obviously, again, silver packs, quite the quite the nice feature this year with a lot of these squad building challenges requiring silver players as we get sick from the Eredivisie, I think that is. Anyone else in here that can help us? We get one from the La Liga Santander and the rest basically just consumables so we can use another 500 coins and the rest just, we discard those two later. Let's send those to the club first and discard the stadium and the batch. 15 packs more to go. Obviously, I would like to recoup a little bit of my investment, not just have random silvers in my club. But if I get silver players, I would obviously be fine with getting the, the good ones. Um, and we get one from Underlight, actually, the team that we completed before here. Um, let's see what else we get. We get another friend, uh, uh, one player from the league on, which will help us in the... Uh, respective squad building challenge and again those packs are super nice for for consumables um, the this the squad fitness the healing cards and the like obviously already a nice feature in the in the um, bronze pack method but again in the silver packs obviously the consumables are a little bit better next up is the gold pack we have a bunch of gold packs here and obviously with one rare card, not a high chance of a good player, but at least we get a rare one in the first one as we get Immobile. Um, I was preparing for the Calcio A to be one of the squad building challenge leagues. Unfortunately for me, it was La Liga Santander, but Immobile is a nice addition to the team as we will be ready whenever that league is released as well. Let's see whether we have any duplicates. I think there was a Russian, no, there was a Russian badge, but another Italian player that we sent to the transfer list and list up later. Let's open the other gold packs, the basic gold packs basically first. We have four more, I think, maybe even more, um, where we don't get a rare player here, so let's skip that right away. As we get, oh, we get a rare player actually, as a rare silver player from the Danish league, I think that is. And the rest, just a random gold pack, I think. We store that to the club discard that batch and move on to the next goal pack. Let's see how many we have left of the, of the regular goal packs. Um, well, it's only three more and then we move on to the better goal packs. Another rare player, no big player though. We get a Cameroon striker, another uh, league uh, player, uh, Mukanjo here from, I didn't get the team from Lorient. Um, obviously a nice addition to the club that we can use in the squad building challenge. A lot of duplicates here, to be honest, as we get another um, Liga Nos player, I think there was, I'll look at that later after the video, um, and another Liga Nos player here. So we put all those on the transfer list and then we move on to the next goal pack. Hopefully another one with a lot of players like this one. Um, probably the best pack we have had so far. Two more goal packs and then we move on to the... the better gold packs as we get Afalai from Stoke City in this one. 
and Zirkov, the former Chelsea player, now playing for Zenit for a while already. And a nice squad, a gold uh, squad fitness card in here as well. Let's send Gartner to the transfer list and move on to the final goal pack. Hopefully another rare player for us. Honestly, the, the 100k pack is obviously the big reward that we want to go for and we want to find something nice in there. But I would obviously be happy with one big flare in the other in the other packs. Obviously, a lot of the silver packs, I, I wasn't expecting anything anyway. As we get Steve Gordon here from North, so another League on player that we can slot in the respective squabble in challenge later. But as I was saying, obviously in the regular gold packs, it's pretty hard to pack a decent card. So I... I hope I pull at least a big flare from one of the other better goal packs. Two players from the Bundesliga that we sent to the transfer list immediately. And now we move on to the better goal pack. So we have a bunch of 7.5k packs. So we have four, I think, at least four on display. Premium goal packs. So we can hope for something better. And here as we get a rare player from Spain, Olivas. Probably from the second Spanish league, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and another Stoke player. Shay given those position modifiers especially the camp to center forward and center forward to striker rotation has been quite helpful for me to finish those squabbling challenges sometimes you have strikers that are super expensive or midfielders that are expensive but you have the respective other position available for for a pretty pretty good amount of money um, so what I often do is I use strikers as a midfielder and obviously need to convert them to, to not lose chemistry. As you pull money, yeah, um, that's not too bad. I already have him in the club though, but obviously I can sell him on the transfer market as we get Skelotto here as well. I think that completes my sporting um, squabbling challenge as well. I haven't, I think I was only missing one or two players, so I'll check that out afterwards. Another pro league player in here that we just handed him in, I think, from Liège. Let's send all those to the club and put money on the transfer list and I'll list him up after I'm done with the video. Now discard the ball and then we have a couple of the premium gold packs and then we move on to the next one. So we have seven packs left. Um, let's see what we have left with any silver in here. Silver players pack. Um, the rest is basically gold. Three more 7.5k packs here. One big flare, uh, not a big flare, but a rare one though. Let's skip that one. We get Kolarov. Um, that's not too bad for the squad building challenges in the future. Um, and two La Liga players. As I said, I haven't prepared for the La Liga squad building challenge, so I might just do it one by one over time. Um, obviously, with the three big investments you need for the three big teams, um, I'm not planning on doing that anytime soon, I think. Um, but the other teams, obviously, I, I saw a chart on Reddit that they're all worth doing the investment. Similar like the Pro League. Um, he has we pull Bruno from the La Liga. Um, one of the players I've used quite a bit in squad in challenges. He's not that expensive. And Sami Nazri as well. Pretty pretty good pack for a 7.5k pack. Um, Bruno, I was saying. Bruno, and he's similar to, to uh, Axel Witzel, for instance. Those 82-83s um, that don't go for much but you need them all the time in squad building challenges so obviously it's good to pull one of those guys as well now i think we have two more do we have two more premium no we have one more premium gold pack and then we need to be aware to skip the 100k pack and basically start the packs from the back um to have the grand finale at the end now we had a monaco player in here i already have him in the team so i'll put him on for sale Later, one more MLS player, one more Bundesliga player, and a stadium that we do not need. Now, let's not open the 100k pack first. Let's start with the silver players pack. Um, I haven't pulled many, many useful silvers in today's pack opening. Let's see whether that's any different. We get Desabato from the Primera Division, I think it is. Who else is in there? Unf unfortunately, one red player and that red player is bronze. However, he's from the league, ah, so we can we can use him, um, assuming we have enough players on that team with a better rating. Because 59 for a league on team, I don't think that will be enough to be able to handle the team. Other than that, not 
another player from La Liga Santander um, and another Premier League player from Bournemouth, I think that was. Let's throw all those duplicates on the transfer list and I'll list them up later. Three more packs to go, guys. A gold players pack, a premium gold players pack, and obviously the 100k pack. Let's start with this one first. Who's our rare player? Is not a pretty, not a good one. It's Bolasi. Um, I think I still have him in my team. I'm planning on using him in the um, Dele Ali squad building challenge. I'll be doing that in a little bit. Um, let's see what else we get. We get an Olympic Lyonnais player who will be useful for the squad building challenge. Another League on player here. So pretty, pretty decent pack for a um, goal players pack. Let's put those on the transfer list and move on to the basically the final pack before we get to the big one. Premium gold players pack, basically the same as before, just with two more rare players. And we get a big flow. We get an inform. We get a goalkeeper. Oh, it's probably not a good inform. It's Vekutre from Ka, I think that is. I'll uh, take it though. Um, he definitely doesn't go for much, I'm sure, but an inform nonetheless. So. Basically goes for this card, I would assume. Yeah, seventeen and a half thousand coins. Anyway, it basically, uh, I'm not complaining at all. So don't get me wrong. I'm happy with an inform, um, but I won't be using him much. But obviously, you can use him in squabble and challenges where you need an inform. So the be definitely the best card of the of the pack opening though. Um, another player from the from La Liga Santander. I just saw it right next to the inform bunch of duplicates and now guys it's the big one the 100k pack we finished the pro league squad bailing challenge we invested around 70,000 coins to get 220,000 coins worth of rewards we definitely made our money back um just by by all the players and their basically their in intrinsic value that they have um to be useful in the future but now the grand finale we pull an inform so far the other packs haven't been that great um, but let's see if we can get a big one in the Jumbo Rare Players Pack. Let's open it. Let's see what we get. Obviously, a good team of the week out there. We get a semi-decent player. Let's see what it is. It's Vincent Company. Not too bad. I'll definitely take it. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Um, I saw atrocious 100k packs in, in the past week on, um, on YouTube. But I think Company and Matic, I, I'll take it. They, they fit into the team. Um, Zavaleta as well. I'm actually looking for Zavaleta today for the Deli Ali Squabbling Challenge. So those players, they will be super useful. Matic, Zavaleta, they will go right in the Deli Ali Squabbling Challenge. Um, other than that, let's see what we have in here. Any other useful players? Amrabat, also good and useful because you need two Watford players in one of the Deli Ali Squabbling Challenges. Um, anything else? We get, Renato, uh, we get Sanchez in here. Another player for the Turkish squad building challenge. So it's so a decent pack. Um, and Sunny here as well. Another duplicate. I guess that's okay. It obviously could have been better. We could have packed. This is super team of the week out there this week. Um, but basically we, we made our money back before that pack as well. So I'm, I'm happy with that pack already. Um, and I'll take that. I'll definitely take Vincent Company for my team. Let's put all those duplicates on the transfer list. And with that, guys, I'm done with this video. Um, check out my channel if you want to see the other League Swobble in challenges that I've done so far. Let me know whether you've done this challenge already. What did you get in your 100,000 coin pack? I think that was, in terms of value, the best Squabble in challenge, the League Squabble in challenge we've done so far. Um, we got an inform. We got a bunch of good players in the 100k pack. Other than that, not anything worth mentioning, but we definitely made our money back, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you packed once you did this challenge and I will see you in the next video.